Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Yash side and in this video I'll be telling you a couple of hacks or important stuff that will help you get more visibility and better rankings in Google Maps. Before I jump into the video, just a quick note that I have started a free local SEO newsletter. So if you want to get local SEO tips directly in your inbox, feel free to sign up for my newsletter. It's absolutely free. Okay. Also, if you're a business owner and want to grow your business, I'll leave a consultation call link below if you're interested in it. Okay, and again, it's also absolutely free. So now let's jump into the main video. So our very first tip is on page SEO. So this is something that I see most people are ignoring. This is the foundation of SEO. To validate it, here's a result of one of my client. We actually optimized his on page SEO and as a result, our GMP, GMP rankings amped up tremendously. This is the before screenshot of ranking this is the new one okay this is the recent screenshot of the ranking so you can see how tremendous ranking improvements we have seen isn't it now let's see how to do on page seo for your website or your client's website so first thing we'll need to go to a website which already has pretty good page. so this is a website which is ranking pretty good for some of the key garage related keywords so now let's exactly examine this particular web page okay so there are three main things or you can say four main things when it comes to on page first headers second images third adding of LSI or related keywords fourth entities okay if you don't know what entity is entity is basically anything that is singular unique well defined and distinguishable okay for instance let's say there's a university in st louis that's named as st louis university that's an entity too and there could be several entities in a niche too in a geolocation too okay so i hope you get the point i do have a detailed video on that if you want to have a look at that please go on my channel and just watch that okay now let's see how to optimize our website for on page okay first thing we are gonna see the on page SEO of this particular website. You don't really need an extension. I'm just doing this because I just wanna have a quick look at that. You can also do it manually. It's not at all mandatory, right? So this is the title of this particular website. That is Garage Repair in Ajax, Ontario. And if you see, this particular website has the exact keyword in its title, right? This is a great practice. Again, if you're not doing it, make sure to do this because it's important, okay? now. You will see that the website also has keyword in its description. See, Garage C offers Garage Repair Services in Ajax, Ontario. Again, we have got keywords in description as well. Now, let's see, you know, how the website has added keywords in its headings. First thing, let's just click on show all headings. Okay, so if you see the each one is Garage Repair Ajax, again, the keyword in H2 as well, right? and again in h2 again in h2 if you see the, the this particular website has added tons of time the key the primary keywords in its content firstly they have pretty well added their header their keywords in their headers second they have also done pretty good job with their meta title and meta description these two are the foundation of on pages so you cannot and i again say that you cannot go wrong with this okay you need to do this and it's super important okay now let's see another stuff this particular website also has schema so if you don't know schema schema is a schema markup is a code that you inject on your page to help google to know more about your company your website your web page anything like that okay now let's see how you can exactly copy this in your website so let's say you have a maybe dentistry website or let's say just you have a garage or business right so what you have to do is you have to have a separate location page for each city you are serving okay and then make sure you are having your primary keyword in your in your headers at least the each one and two or three of headings okay and then make sure to have them on your meta description meta title these are the basic stuff where you need to inject your primary keyword additionally you also need to have your secondary keywords in your headers okay that's super important because just stuffing your primary keyword everywhere is not gonna take you much far okay now let's see how to do other stuff in on page as i said there's there are two other stuff in page as well images and entities so images you could easily do that when it comes to images you just have to have a 
real image don't don't add any stock images that doesn't work much i have seen that okay and make sure to have your primary keyword or secondary keyword that sort of stuff in your all tags of that particular image that's super important right now let's see another one that is entity so entity helps in, in increasing relevancy of the content one are the days when we used to just add keywords and it used to rank it still works but will take much more efforts much more time much more money to rank just based on stuffing the keyword okay now you can do it manually too but if you want to if you want a tool page optimizer pro is is what i recommend it's not on it's not a sponsor video i just love this tool okay it does a great job in identifying on pages opportunities and also suggests some entities to add in the content okay let me exactly show its dashboard so when you when you launch the on page uh, sorry page optimizer pro and when you run a keyword in it you will see something like that in this particular one we have added keyword that is cleaning service minneapolis and you will see tons of stuff like that search engine title page optimizer pro has suggested these titles to be added to your content to be your page okay then page title this is the meta title stuff if you see search in the title that is meta title this is page title okay this is the page title this is the meta title and then we have subheadings this is for h2s and h3s this is for main content these are what we call as entities okay so this definitely helps a lot i have seen that myself and if you want if you want to use this just go to page pro and sign up for a free trial they do have a free trial i guess for seven days you could just test it out okay now if you want a free tool just for entities there's a tool name as topicalrelevance.com slash lsi entities google okay once you land on that particular page you don't have to do much just put your primary keyword or whatever the topic is just put that here and click on get data okay and when you will click that you will see something like this so you will see semantic keywords here and then single keywords these are the single keywords then phrases then entities here and then these are the entities these are the frequency these are the relevance and it also suggests your schema so you don't necessarily have to copy the schema because there are many stuff that you need to edit within this so i won't suggest using this particular schema if you want a schema tutorial just let me know and i'll create one video on that too okay and uh, now for entities this is a fantastic tool that you can use and the best thing is it's absolutely free it doesn't cost you a penny okay now the on page is done now once you have done that you will see some significant improvements for sure the next step is topical authority i have more detailed video on that too and will be bringing some great videos on topical mapping and that sort of stuff because those are pretty advanced stuff i want my audience to at least know the basics of it and then we can dive into the topical map mapping and all those advanced stuff okay for people who don't know what topical authority is the level of trust a search engine has for instance google when it comes to a particular topic or niche for instance how much google trusts you when it comes to for niche repair if you're an hvac service provider or you know teeth whitening if you're a dentist or any other service that you're getting the overall viewpoint of mind right now to build authority in initial topic you'll need to show google that you know a lot about that topic so you'll need to have posts on that particular topic for instance if you want to rank on furnace repair in a city go on hrefs SEMrush, or maybe keyword planner and you'll find tons of keywords which people are searching in that particular niche there's a free tool as well that is answer the public you can use that as well just put your topic here just put your your country here then language and click on search it will give a great variety of questions that people are asking within this industry okay and what you can do is just put your top and what you can do is just have a separate post on each of the questions that people are asking in this particular category in this particular niche in this particular topic okay let me quickly show you an example of that now you can see that i have added furnace repair here you can just replace it with your own keyword with your own topic now create a post for each of these questions and link to the service page from each blog post this is the gold nugget here okay what you need to do is create a particular post on each of these topics and create and sorry a link to your service page or your home page from each of these blog posts combinedly gonna boost your rankings for that particular topic 
okay for that particular service page because that's the actual page we want to rank for isn't it also create these posts as a child page this will help Google understand that these are the subtopics of this main topic that is for this repair or maybe anything in your niche okay and then here's how you are will look like you will see something on the screen right third one now let's come to our another another great tip or hack you could say that is optimizing GMB this is not very advanced stuff, but if done wrong this could destroy all the rest of your efforts we'll need to do several stuff in GMB optimization for instance finding the right category service area description review replies and images let's start with the category first we are going to use an extension named as GMB everywhere for this this is a free extension you can use also there's another one that is Plepper Chrome extension that's a fantastic tool as well and the best thing is that's also free now go to Google Maps and search for your keyword okay and now check what's the category your competitors are using you will see here okay for instance this particular competitor is using garage or supplier service establishment now this is the basic thing this is super important without this you cannot rank you cannot rank pretty good in maps that's for sure okay now it's time for optimizing our service area go to your GMB and click on edit profile and then just hold, just scroll down just give it a second just scroll down okay just a second now you have to add your city that you're targeting that you're serving here okay this is super important don't overlook this one okay make sure you're adding all of the service all of the cities which you are targeting but what I will what I would highly suggest you to do is let's say you have verified your GMB in a city and you're targeting three other cities what I want you to do here is just add your primary primary city from which your GMB is verified because Google is definitely not gonna rank you on any other cities that's pretty obvious thing right so we just don't need to add too much of stuff here just add the primary city here because that's the only city we will be able to rank for okay now the other thing is well optimized description if you already have a good one you can just ignore this one no need to edit it but if you don't have a keyword and city name you can create a great description using chat GPT okay and let me show you a, an example of pretty good description okay so just a bit down here and here you go so if you see we have added the city name here the company name here and all the services that we are providing again garage or services in richmond hill all of the stuff right so this is a pretty good thing to do and i would highly suggest to do this if you haven't done it yet and the next one is gmb review replies i've seen people not even replying to a review this shows how much you're active on your gmb here's a good reply to review again you can use chat GPT to review so you don't so you don't have to do it all of the stuff on your own okay here is a review, review reply right thank you for a fantastic review we are thrilled to hear that our skill technician at TFSG provided exceptional service by repairing your garage or promptly you will get an idea what I'm talking about right so you will need to put your primary keyword here and then also see this is super fantastic stuff that you can you know leverage now the next one is images right so images we just need to add more images than our competitors it's not super important but definitely useful I've seen Google definitely rewards you if you have better and more images than your competitors what you can do to see how many images your competitor have just click on the listing and then see here 21 photos 26 photos and then 266 photos right so this is how you can get you you can add more photos you can add more optimized photo and better photos than your competitors now once you add all these stuff what I showed you in the video you'll see some great improvements and that's for sure this was all about this video uh, if you have any questions feel free to ask it in the comments also if you have any suggestions for the future videos make sure to add them in the comment section till then bye bye